focus on home care packages as thank well. Thank the honourable member for Griffith, and I call the honourable member for New England. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Deputy Speaker. And I rise to ask the question: It is such a shame that within this nation we have become so timid. We have become so timid and lacked what was once there was once the vision of the Curtin, the Chifleys, and the Lachlan Macquarie's. We become timid because we don't wish to grasp the opportunities that are before us. We had the CSIRO report that came out the other day that proposed we have the capacity to irrigate another 400,000 400, hectares of land. Uh, it requires the building of dams. But so often with these things we get, we get back to revelling in the, the primacy of the bureaucracy and the god of inertia and not wishing to ever uh, upset the status quo, why we believe the status quo and where our nation resides at the moment is so uh, superior, I don't know. I don't know why we haven't built Nathan Dam. I don't know why we haven't built Apsley Dam. I don't know why we don't further develop the Fitzroy and the Margaret River in the Kimberley. I don't know why we believe that where we are is as good as it gets. I don't know why we have not taken the next step. The next step is there before us. We have a drought that is happening at the moment, and we could so, so much better manage this if we had, in the past, built the infrastructure to allow us to take that next step. But right now, uh, we still, when we try to take a step towards uh, a more effective um, and a, a better outcome in, in the produce of our nation, in the GDP of our nation, then our biggest problem is not the money, because we can get the money, it's not the engineering capacity because it's there. Our biggest, our biggest impediment always is the internal bureaucracy which has built up over so many years that puts a primacy, primacy on basically environmental issues uh, over the social and further economic development of our nation. And at some point in time, or in, not at some point in time, and right now, time like this, we've got to say enough is enough. The pendulum has to swing back in the other direction. The pendulum has to start going for the path of common sense. We have to have a debate in this chamber that is not on the, so the minutiae of policy and, and, and tricky games and tricky words, but something that is, has a grander vision, a grander vision which we can debate backwards and forth about how we are going to build the dams of the north, about how we are going to generate more baseload power about how we as a nation have a vision for sealing maybe our third road across this, across this continent. In, over, in close, to close to 230 years of coastal settlement post-1788, noting that we have an, an incredible um, Aboriginal heritage that reaches way back, but over all that time that uh, humankind has been on this continent, we have managed to seal two, have two sealed roads that go across this nation. One through Camelwheel, one across Nullarbor, and that's it. And I reckon that's a little bit of an indictment. I reckon we're bigger than that. I reckon there's much more we can do. So why don't we step out now and start driving for the new vision, for the, for the new capacity for us to take this to the next step? If, and we hear recently about what would happen if La Perouse and the French had rather the colonisers rather than the English, what would be happening here? Well, I put it to this chamber that uh, if other countries had colonised this, these things that we discuss and we find so difficult to do now would have already happened, whether we liked it or not. Uh, but we have to now take the next step. Our population is growing vastly quicker than we ever suspected. We've now got to 25 million people. We didn't think we were going to get there until 2032, I believe. And it's not going to slow down. It's not going to slow down. It's going to keep on growing. Yet we seem to be sitting on the same infrastructure stock as before, thinking that that, that will do. So I say to this chamber, in the midst of this drought, that we have the capacity right now to not only deal with the drought, but to also start laying down the, foot, the firm foundation blocks of what we are going to do next. But it's going to mean that we have to have that epiphany, that the primacy and the, the, the further and the greater future of the Australian people resides in our capacity not to revel in the bureaucratic, but to be able to drive for the vision of the dams, of the rail, of the inland rail, of the outback way, of those things that will del deliver real wealth, and by so delivering real wealth to our nation, make our nation once more a beacon that can basically shine in our part of the world, delivering our values to all those who wish to see them.